They didn't get to the altar. Jimmy and Chelsea didn't make it to the altar? Mm-hmm. Really? To see it. Mm. <sighs> I gotta tell you, that's Mm-mm. bad. Mm-mm. Don't. Fine. I hate that. Okay, you can't even hear it. The ASMR whispering is truly one of my greatest sensory icks. It's, not, it's no judgment to people who like it, but it does push my buttons. That's understandable. Um, speaking of another thing that pushes my buttons, um, quick order of business. Yes. Um, I would like to congratulate us on uh, nine years of marriage that's right our anniversary have, was this past week we forgot about it until your until your mom yeah messaged you yep and said when are you gonna be home yeah like for what and <laughs> it's like why what because is also the occasion too, and yeah anytime my mom texts me and is like hey are you gonna be home on like x day it's i know it's because she's sending us an edible arrangement do you know their their logo now or they they must have changed their name it's just edible now Ugh. And I think that's hilarious because I can't tell if they're trying to capitalize on like <laughs> yeah. the gummies and edible yeah. market. And so like that's like a, oh, so, you know, like I a, didn't even think about that. But yeah. that's so smart. That's probably true. I think it would. What? Isn't that so funny? Yeah, it just says edible on there now. Also, now I feel like we've been dating ourselves this whole time because we're like edible arrangements when it's not that anymore. I feel like it hasn't been that long. OK, fair. But who knows? I just thought it was a funny switch because I was like, that's yeah. not, or maybe because the what we got was different. No, the thing that my mom sent us this time was so good. It was oh, like little cheesecake hearts and chocolate spot. covered strawberries and these little brownies. Well, and the thing that's funny too about regular edible arrangements is 90% of the stuff on it you can't eat. I know because I'm so, allergic to so many fruits. Yeah. Uh, so but, that's really nice to get just the goods, basically just the good yes. stuff. A lot of the times if uh, we get like a traditional one, the bouquet is filled with pineapple, yeah. which I can't eat, or. Um, what is the not honeydew? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Oh my god, I was like, I don't know. I was like, what is the melon called? And I don't like cantaloupe. If it's not a white claw flavor, then I don't know what it is, <laughs> quite frankly. That's fair. That's like our closest relation to fruit at this point. Oh, that is so true. <laughs> I resent. Re- also, you, you eat again, berries a lot. What? I feel like the food pyramid. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you I'm honestly everywhere? about to leave that in because I'm really like slow mo on it. Ooh. I feel so betrayed. So I just, <laughs> we just got our teeth cleaned. And my, uh, for one, we have permanent retainers. Yes. But I, oh, the mouthfeel is so good. It's so good. Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, it's so good. A, a freshly cleaned permanent retainer. <laughs> Anyways, but because obviously, like I do keep my, cle- having the plaque and stuff gone though. Yeah. So I can yeah. swish water back and forth between my teeth really uh, fast. Can you do that? <laughs> I mean, I it can gets, normally though. You can always get water in between. My bottom teeth? Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't I tell if this so. is telling on me or not. Well, no, or... I think it's because. Of the top part of my teeth, but like the water. I don't know. Maybe I've just never really thought like about it. Like you can feel the water. Like Hold I can on. feel the water going in between my teeth. I can confirm. I can't normally do that, and I've never done that before, and I did not oh, like that sensation rinse, whatsoever. It's my favorite part. Oh, I love just like I feel like <sighs> so I'm shaking funny. up like a. I like to think I'm like a whale, and the water, like like you know, in Finding Nemo when they're oh. And the whale. Yeah, the water's draining yeah, out yeah, of Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to picture. I like to pretend no. I'm like a whale. And so I have like the water like in my mouth Pumpkin. sloshing around. I like that. Um, but it causes me to like... Salivate spit, more? Uh, salivate a little bit more yes. because, yeah. Yes. Um, we talked about I this also, on stream though. Yeah. Go ahead. I have a very salacious mouth. Yeah. So apparently, because you and I both are this way, the dentist has like shaded me before yeah. for having so much saliva um, I know. I don't have to like use the sucky thing. tool. It's not. Somebody on stream, I think it was Mark, was saying that having um, saliva glands. is good because it rinses your mouth out, yeah. basically. That's why um, old people, their teeth get all Having dry yeah. mouth is actually like a risk factor for developing cavities more often because you have bacteria that's just like yeah. sitting and growing. Like having See? saliva to rinse the stuff out. Now I feel like my mouth is also filling don't with shame. Yeah, I know. When you become aware of it, you're aware of now. Now you're yeah. all aware of how much you're salivating you're or are not. Also, <laughs> speaking of old people, yeah. they're gone. Oh, they're gone. It's just so frustrating. <sighs> if you guys don't know anything about Tucson or Arizona, generally, we have this thing or, called snowbirds or this not, like this phenomenon is. called like the snowbirds, um, which are people who live could, could in live colder in a generation states, where they could afford multiple homes. to retire, first of all. Yeah. And then also afford vacation homes. So they a lot of them will buy vacation homes That'd or they'll nice. drive like their little RVs or what have you to Arizona for the wintertime to avoid and winter in up. their cold states. But they drive so slowly. They muck up all 
all of the restaurants. They have trouble ordering the Mexican food. It's just the thing that frustrates me about it is not like the fact that they're here, but the fact that there's such a blatant disregard for like the norms of the place yeah. which you're currently inhabiting, you know, because like anytime that I'm like driving in a new city or I'm like lost or confused, yeah. my ass is in the right lane. Like my ass yeah. is doing the most to stay out of people's way my, and to I, not disrupt yeah. people's everyday lives because I'm like keenly aware of the fact that like I'm a visitor in this space. And so I'm not trying to like get in the way or like be rude or disrespectful. You know, I mean, I yeah. don't relate to the complete lack of regard for your immediate surroundings. No, honestly. that like oh, so many of them do this and I don't get it. Like we were able to go get our food today for our <laughs> breakfast and like so you just walked in. Yes. got it and walked right out there was no one interrogating the hostess about like what is this what is this why is this so spicy also there was too, just like, no one around look up the menu before you go Play, yes. like i just but also too like i'm okay, too anxious fine, to not right? yes but also like even if you're a person who doesn't understand how to use a smartphone or that's like difficult for you yeah fair there are menus at the counter for most places grab one stand in the corner Read the menu, not in front of the the place where you order your food. Yes, if yes. you don't know what you want, get the fuck out of the way. It's not that like like I understand that people need time to like read through stuff and and whatever and like yeah. taking a couple of seconds, right? Like that's not what I'm talking about. It's the people who will stand there and through every single menu item go, well, what is this? Can this be made without that? Well, why does this have yeah. this? Off? I'm allergic to this. And also too, don't eat that. Then there's very few places here in town. I would say too, yeah. that don't have all of the. Also too, I think that's just like a, a bit like what, uh, like doing business thing mm -hmm. now. A standard of doing business, like a normal. It's just having all of the ingredients listed out. Like there's not really. Yes. Yes, people are very cognizant of allergies and there's things clearly like noted as yeah. either vegan or gluten-free. Like it's, obviously it's not like that in all places, of but course, like- Of course, but like the place we specifically get breakfast say, at. <laughs> yeah, like the we there, it is very do. clear what is in it. Like there yes. is no, yes. nothing's hidden in there, yes. you know? But also too, like, okay, whatever, sure. So if you have like particular sensitivities around a thing, like I'm allergic to everything, yeah. right? We've talked about this, but I don't interrogate the staff. Like I'm no. not rude, I'm not judgmental, I'm I'm not like shrieking at the staff. If I don't know if something is safe for me to eat, then I just don't eat it. Speaking you know? of the like, staff, like we are there so – like I just – I want to know if they know – because also too, I think it's so sad or maybe it's not so sad. Mm, but we know nice. who's working in the kitchen because mm -hmm. the burritos are different sizes depending on what yes. day of the week you go. Yes. We know um, which person made our the food. The weekends, the burritos are always bigger. <laughs> yes. Um, and also I can finally say it um, and it's appropriate, but my chilaquiles was so good. <laughs> Should we name the place that we're talking about? No. You don't think I don't so? want to lo locate us, location us. Oh, that's true. But yeah. um, sorry. Some things are, we are allowed to be mysterious sometimes. That's true. It's a safety it's, thing. It's a safety thing. Speaking of safety thing yes. and driving, mm -hmm. um, one thing that you, you it's like it's like your um your bottled olive oil vegetables or like collecting little trinkets and stuff uh -huh. is your collection of bumper stickers. Oh, oh my god. Yes. I don't even know what to call it. Your collection of bumper stickers you've seen yes. throughout the so years. So I have started – I when I went through the photos, because I blurred out all the license plates, okay. obviously. When I went through the photos, I have been doing this since early 2020, like pre-pandemic. No, you fucking have not. Yeah, I have. No, you have not. What, yeah, I have. What, why did you start – or like – what was okay. the do you have the first one? Yes. Um, well, no, actually, because I sent it to you in a text message. This started because I would send you photos of people's bumper stickers that I thought were like interesting or funny. Okay. Especially like living in Arizona, there's a fair amount of the like really rancid, like Rant. Trumper bumper sticker yeah. things. Yeah. And so like I would send photos of them to you and like send a little gif of somebody gagging like as a joke or whatever, right? Of course. Um, Only appropriate reaction. But over time it it developed into this hobby where like I Listen, we all know that I love like reality TV and oh, like human it. behavior and love all this it. stuff. And it's almost like an interesting little study in like oh. the intersections of people's identities and like the things that they it's because a bumper sticker is an interesting thing. Right. It says so many things about a person. Yes. One, OK, t you go, you go, you the go. The type go. of person who puts a bumper sticker on their car is like already a demographic. Right? Oh, yeah, because like to be committed to something or to yes. feel so strongly about something that you yes. feel the need. It's yes. like a Facebook post, but you uh -huh. can't. Un but also, I'm not friends with you. Yes. So yes. I don't want to see it. Exactly. Yes. But also, too, like there's sort of a gray area here where like there are people who will buy magnets to put on the outside of their car. Right. So like you do care about this thing enough to put it on but your not car. not enough for it to be permanent. Not enough to put a sticker on it. And is that because you like don't want to damage the resale value of your car of or because you just don't feel strongly enough about this thing? Like you see what I'm saying? No, there's, there's like, a layers. lot of interesting like questions 
to be answered yeah. about the bumper sticker phenomenon. I mean, it's not like I'm memeing, but like it is real. Like <laughs> it's it is. Really cool. Yeah, I'm trying to not come off that of yes. like being patronizing I, or anything, but I like think it is it's interesting. Yeah. Um, so I started taking photos of people's bumper uh-huh. stickers, um, which is also funny too, because if I see one while I'm driving, obviously I try to like get to a stoplight to take a picture of it. Cause it's not safe to be of like course. while you're driving. Um, I know if, if you're in the passenger, I'll always speed up for you. So oh, you can yes. Like, you like, did it today. One, like a Pokemon, like yes. catch it, catch it. Um, but so, um, it's funny taking photos of people's bumper stickers. Cause I've caught people a few times, like looking at me in their rearview mirror, like, but also too, are you taking a picture of my license plate? Like, why are you taking a photo yes. of my car? But also too, if you're gonna put something on your bumper sticker and then yes. don't want people looking at it, yes. then like, I'm really then confused. Like, why? But also too, because some of them are so funny. Yeah. Like, there's interesting categories with the bumper can, sticker thing. Can you thing. share? Or... Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, okay, I know. Um, I'm gonna, I know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure we get there. Don't worry. <laughs> there's interesting categories with the bumper sticker thing Keep because teasing us. some of them are obviously memeing. Do you right? have them organized by categories on your phone? No. Oh, I was about to say. No, okay, there's not that, is that level. many of them. Um, I have 42 stickers or 42 um, photos in They're this like album. They're like little collectibles. Yes. Um, but so some of them are like obviously memes. Like here, I'll show you this one. Okay. That I actually, this is the other thing about bumper stickers that I love, which is that we live in, like a lot of people call Tucson a like big small town. It is a big small town. And there are... I think three cars in this album that I have taken pictures of more than once. Shut the fuck up. Yes, I have. Shut the fuck in up. In different places. No, you have not. In different places in the city. Yes, I have. Okay, so and I love. And it makes me so happy. So the cool thing about going running around our neighborhoods and stuff yeah. too is like I'll see cars and I'm like, oh, that motherfucker drove like a piece of shit uh-huh. or like something like that. Uh-huh. Also, which why I'm like especially glad we have a garage because yeah. Anyways, <laughs> we um, don't drive poorly. No, we're we don't drive drivers. poorly, but like sometimes we have places we need to go. Sometimes because we do cut people we off if we're in a hurry. That's true. Do not do a great job with time a lot of times. I'm but anyways, to own that. okay, so that's fun. Yes. Um, so like this bumper sticker I've seen twice. Oh my god. Um, and this. Sure. Bumper sticker. This is uh, this is the other part about this that's really interesting to me is that it's also like the type of car that someone has. Oh right? yes. So this is a Toyota Corolla with a uh, dent in the bumper. It's, it's gonna be a 2006 one. I just know it, it is. It is. It's silver. It looks just like the one that oh, I used to have. Um, let me and see it's it. like not an uh, ugly car or anything, but it's certainly not like fancy pantsy. But the bumper sticker, I'll show you it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, classic. It says I heart milk. Classic. And then there's also a skull sticker on the rear um, driver side window, like the passenger window on the driver side. A skull? Yeah, look. Oh. But oh, see, this like is what I'm saying. But it's not like a, a direct reference to any of mm-hmm. like the punishment. It's literally skull just a skull. No. Or. No, oh. and so this is what I'm saying that like I think it's, it's so like interesting because like, like I now just in observing this person's car I feel like I know a couple of things about them which is that like that this humor this car is either like you know you ran this car into something or backed it into something on accident okay or like what happened with us like the Toyota that we had it had a dent in the bumper which because I don't the know previous they... owner dented it yeah and like we just didn't have a lot of money so I was like I don't give a fuck about the bumper it, it, had, it gave you know? a character. Well, yeah. And so like there's a a certain air of like this car gets me from A to B, right? It's not a showpiece. This isn't a car that I've like saved my whole life to like, you know, make some kind of statement. It's like simply a car, you know, but also we care enough about the car, though, to put the stickers on it in multiple different places. And also that they're like memey and funny and silly, but not necessarily like complete shit post because the thing that cracks me up about know? that too is because that car is like the the toyota that people talk about that like oh yes. if you change the oil on it every yes. ten thousand miles and it'll run for, i know you should get your oil changed more frequently than that no yeah um, but that's the point it's like, like you can you run that bitch it, into the yes. ground and it'll run forever like i honest to god when we would put new parts in in our old toyota it would like run worse <laughs> and i'd be like do you, why do you like you just yes. want to be a pig in the slop you just like, want to be abused yes <laughs> Um, Toyota Corollas will run forever and we ever. Took They're good our little old cars. one with poor, like the motor mounts were shot, were gone. Oh, that car worst. used to, when it was idle, yeah. when it would idle at like stoplights and stuff, it would shake. Yeah. And we took that bitch Terrible. to, what's it called? The top of the mountain? Um, the top of the world in Colorado. In Colorado. We drove it all the way from Colorado, from Colorado here. Springs to Tucson. Yeah. Twice. And what was that mountain we drove up? It's like the highest point. The highest in, point in Colorado. I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, we drove, that little tank made a chug a chug a chug it all the way up. Yep. And she did great. Oh, a little cross country road trip car. I love that car. car. Um, Okay. So then there is a secondary category here, which is the like, we are lost in the sauce. Like at this point now, 
bumper stickers have become like a collection. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And it's like the whole. This isn't like, oh, I saw this funny bumper sticker at a gas station or on Etsy. And so I bought it, like the iHeart MILFs thing. This is like having bumper stickers on my car is now a hobby of mine, <laughs> right? Which is like another category of people that I find very interesting because we've eclipsed the like, I care enough about this thing to put it on my car to now, like, maybe I don't really care about these things specifically so much as I do about the hobby of collecting stickers yeah. because it's like fun and interesting. So look at this one and then I'll read through oh the stickers gosh. and like tell you about them. Okay. Can you imagine if we just did the pod and I didn't put any of these pictures up and we just sat here and blue balled everyone? About <laughs> if we ever wanted to troll people for engagement and hate comments, that would be the way to do it. Physically, I'm here. Mentally, I'm in a galaxy far, far away. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, but then with the faith, what yeah. does the faith one say? Oh, I wish I could see. And then it's just like. And we got uh, Superman. Okay, so like yeah. Harry Potter, Superman. So like we have Star it's Wars. Giving stuff. Millennial. Yeah. You know? No Disney stuff. Stuff of note, but then the faith. Oh, and this is a Jeep, a Jeep. Yep. So also noteworthy. Already. But also, it's just a. Is this a Grand Cherokee or whatever? This is like not like a. It's not like a Wrangler or whatever. No, you know, no, no. Like, it's like an SUV. Thing. Yeah. It's not like a Jeep. It's just a Jeep. Okay, it's so like travel, like national parks and stuff like this. I, you know, like mm-hmm. this tracks. Like I feel like I know a lot about this person. Yes. Seeing. Like, I would safely assume, based on the stickers, yeah. that this person is either a liberal, maybe not a leftist, but, like, certainly not a Republican. Yeah. Based on like all the national road. parks and all the... Yeah. yeah. We're, like... It's giving, center, like... It's giving, like, moderate. It's giving, yes. like, uh, like, independent. Like, yeah, centrist, yeah. Uh, millennial. We love our hobbies. We love our... Disney adult our, kind of vibes. Yeah. Like, Disney adult adjacent, adjacent. anyways. Yeah. Okay. Yes. See, but you see what they, I'm saying? Now I'm, like, I feel like I know... I yes. know this person. I know you. It's very interesting to me because like the commitment to putting these things on your car yeah. is like enough for you to be willing to disclose this information to people around you. Too. But also too that they're not done with purpose. No. This, like those were acquired. Like they're just those kind of smattered around there. Through the years. But also yes. I always picture in my head too. I'm like, oh, someone is definitely getting bumper stickers yes. for Christmas. Oh, yeah. As like their gift. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like Absolutely, that is that yes. is your thing now. Yes. And then so I'm like, is there an obligation? it's like the my student is a star student. Yes. Is this like the obligatory yes. bumper sticker yes. thing? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so this one I also thought was interesting okay. um, because it's sort of the the antithesis to the collecting bumper stickers thing, Fair. which is that this person is driving a Chevy Equinox, okay. an all-wheel it's drive. Like, it's like a car. Like, which is also person, a choice, This right? person didn't go and buy this car. This, or this, no, like, again, they did go buy, but not like, they a just... showpiece car, but also, too, like, certainly more expensive than a Toyota Corolla, totally. right? This sure. is less giving, like daily commuter i just need a, a shit box with wheels to drive me yeah. to and from this feels like sort of you know like probably like more middle of the road yeah. sort of you know and then this is the bumper st- the only sticker but it's on the window yeah. in the corner this is the only sticker that's on oh, this car no not this one not this one. Oh yeah see like this shit like what you is feel that? so strongly, yes. but like that, like, do you think you were the most clever? Yes. And in case you can't see it, it's just a little kid. I'll zoom in on it. Um, pissing on the words Biden Harris. Like, good one, good job. Like, I also am weirded out and confused by the like child pissing on things well, phenomenon. Well, that that specific drawing or that yeah. child piss, that that is like that like goes back to like yeah. the nineties and two thousands. Yes, like that. Like, but like, why? I don't know. Why? Why is what is that? I don't. I genuinely. It was like it's like weird and off putting to me. It's very much like the like off road yes. like uh yes. like metal militia uh-huh um, uh-huh volcom kind of like no volcom's more skating um, kind of thing, more like it reminds me of the people road. who go to like glamis and all that stuff. yeah it's like that mm-hmm. but also too mm-hmm. like that's like when people are doing the the i did that with the joe biden thing and putting it on the gas oh pumps. yes like but also too like, why such, like also like just say they're living in your head rent free yes this is you know, fan behavior. Also, speaking of fan behavior, we are going to talk about Love is Blind. Promise. Oh, yes. I forgot what this yes. episode is we about. We are going to talk about Love is Blind, but it, it's too Bumper late stickers now. first. This is one of my favorites because Show this me. is, again, the, I feel like this is like, like a sticker book or like a, like a, you're sharing like a family photo yes. portrait. This is, again, the like, this is now a hobby thing. Okay. But also, they're all on the window. None of these are oh. on the actual car itself. They're all on the window. And a fair amount of these are like what I would assume are vinyl transfers that people make on like Cricut and like oh. you buy on Etsy. Oh, I've heard these, make- these are less like I bought this at a gas station and more like I went out of my way oh. to find these stickers. I see. Look, look, look at these. Look with my special eyes. Oh. The centerpiece sticker is like really something to unpack. I'm not in heat. Get off my ass. This person got there. <laughs> what but is that? Impeach Biden, a classic, a nice. classic. Nice. And don't 
I can't read that one. Fuck Biden. Another classic. Yeah. But also the fact that you would need to have it on there, like, as if impeach Biden doesn't say it enough. Yeah. Or like the fuck. But exactly. Biden. Like you needed to say it more than once. This like, is fan behavior feel... and also a hobby. Yes. You know? also too, like, I would never get something about Trump, Trump and put it on my on car. Anywhere no. And anything. That's so weird. It's bizarre. Also, I don't want that following me around. Also, like, you, know? you need to let it go. Mm-hmm. Um, not like let it go in that way, but uh, so yeah, the fuck. So there's three different fuck Bidens, basically. Yes. Which also What's is that? so funny too. Can we just talk? Oh, really quickly? sorry. Four. Let's go, Brandon. Nice. Don't forget the classic. Oh God. Um, can we just talk really quickly about how Trump supporters do this, where they assume that anybody who dislikes Trump loves Joe Biden? Like we're. Just I got, don't like we, Joe Biden at all. We just got what we got. Like <laughs> this is this is the best we can do we, right now. I guess we apparently. were pushed into voting for that man purely because we had no alternative except for like let's hope that Trump doesn't get elected. Let's get again. rid of all the rest of the rights. Essentially, yeah. like like thank you. Which also like yeah. that really worked out great. Um, yeah, but no like shit. just the like assumption that we also are fanatical but, about the political f- leaders that we just so yeah. happen to elect is really interesting and also very too, telling. Like I can't tell if it's like to attract other like Trump supporters. Yes. It's like uh it's like when birds mm-hmm. do like their mating call or like yes. or like peacocking. Yes. But like also then I'm just uh-huh. like also too I can't see that and I'm like, oh I'm definitely gonna like drive like a dick around you or like uh-huh. if you need to get over like I don't fucking yes. think so anymore. Like uh-huh. I hope like let me see I can just inconvenience I'm you. I'm going to go out of my way to be But also to you. too like is also coupled with the get off my ass thing. Yes. Yes. And then like fuck your feelings, people. Uh-huh. So yeah. like, which is it? Which then? is it then? Yeah. Like, are you like so unaffected by the people around you, or are you like really yes. wounded by that? Because like, literally, just bizarre. All right, well, I'll show you two more. Show me two more. This one is really interesting because this is a Kia Soul, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Kia Soul, and the bumper stickers are on the windows and on the car. Okay. They're all like of the same theme, but like, there's a few. Well, there's a, yeah, there's a few outliers here that are also like. Are we Odd. are we having trouble? Okay, let's 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 get into this together. Okay, okay. So first start. Okay, so vegans with a mm-hmm. little skull. Okay, plant mom. Cool, yeah. get it. Vegan. Now we have vegan again. Okay, yep. we're really letting people know you're vegan. Make factory farming illegal. Uh, Another vegan one. Oh, and then wifey, very like Frankenstein e cool. Sure, Support sure, sure. vegan legion again. Uh-huh. Okay, we get it. I don't know what that heart is. Uh-huh. It's oh, the, Mama Bear. Okay. The leopard print heart is the one that threw me for a loop. Animal liberation, human liberation. Okay. So like, okay. The thing that throws me for a loop is that all of these are related to veganism, except for the Mama Bear, the like Bride of Frankenstein, yeah. and the leopard print heart. My curiosity is also piqued by the position and placement mm-hmm. of bumper stickers. Um, Those bitches are all over the map. Yeah, why? What's going on there? Also, we have okay. So there's there's a vegan, another V with a thing. Yes, with so a little plant. That's one, a one, two, three, mm-hmm. four, four, five. I guess kind of yeah. like five. Yeah. Like you need to tell someone five times that you're a vegan. Which also too, like if that's just an area of special interest for you, that's like There's whatever. There's nothing sure. wrong with that yeah. too. But like, but the thing that confuses me is that we have five vegan stickers and then three that are seemingly unrelated. But that's like me going like, or putting, I'm trying to think what that would be the equivalent to or being like, I like bacon. I guess we did do the bacon thing though in the earth, like the True, but I never put a bacon but, bumper sticker on my car. Yeah. I'm trying to think what that would be equivalent to because it's just like, like I like milkshakes. No, because that's different though. Yeah. I mean, I guess, like, the only thing I can think of are, like, the carnivore diet, like, keto CrossFit people. Yeah, but also, too, that, like, so this is the thing where I think, like, self-awareness is interesting to me or whatever. Because, like, you know how people always make the joke, like, oh, if someone is a vegan or does CrossFit, what are they going to tell you about first? Yes, yeah. Um, And, like, this very much feels like that. Like, are you not aware that people... Which I obviously like. Which I, fuck I mean, what maybe. people think too. Obviously, yeah. like go off sure. and whatever makes you happy. But like, also, were you gifted these? Yes. Did you buy these? Exactly. Well, I the, need to know. There's the, so much psychology here. Yes. The thing that's interesting about bumper stickers too is that there's an aspect of performativeness to oh, them. Oh yeah, right? very much so. Where yeah. like you bought these and you put these on your car with the intention of them being seen. Of course, of course. And like when people have a lot of stickers that are related to one theme, it's clear that you're trying to to demonstrate like an overall picture of who you are as a person. But then like, we also have a couple in here that just don't make any sense. Like I'm confused because I feel like bumper stickers, they are sort of broken down into like different categories in the sense where like people like the, the fuck Joe Biden people. Yeah. Their whole car is covered in, you know, like yay Trump. You can't take my guns. There's a a couple in here, right. With like weird, 
um, repressive Republican talking points. Um, and like, that's the whole theme, yeah. right? Or there are people with like, like the, the Star Wars one, the Disney adult one, of course, right? Of course. That's all like sort of a Deadpool, thing. And then there the are people who have bumper are, like, very... stickers that are like completely unrelated, yes. right? They're just like shit posting, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, this is both. And I'm put off and confused by that. Bumper stickers are like the original internet. Yes. Like the orig original Reddit almost. Yes, a little bit. Okay, hold on. I have one more that I want to show you. So this is another one of the ones that I've seen more than once. Okay. And actually, my best friend also knows that I take pictures of people's bumper okay. stickers and has sent me this one also. So this person has been all over Tucson. I feel like at this point, we're definitely getting a Discord yes. uh, channel now for bumper, for bumper stickers. stickers. I would love that. Okay, it's done. Okay, so this one, you have to zoom in. It's a little bit hard to see, but there are three bumper stickers in total. Um, but the one that I'm most interested in, I feel like you'll probably zoom in on this immediately but please uh tell share with the class powered by bitch oh my god i've seen this person yes yeah powered by bitch dust it's a uh, hot mess express that's kind of funny sure um and then there's and a, then skull. a little skull okay the so powered by bitch dust like that's not a gift or would that be a gift i don't know or because would... okay for those of you if you're just like listening and you're before. not looking the powered by bitch dust speaker Speaker, sticker sticker is a picture of tinkerbell with like little fairy dust and it's yeah. like sort of a joke about like the powered by pixie dust of course thing, yeah but bitch except dust, that I it's get like it. bitch dust it's so it's like disney adult adjacent alt, so but also like, like vulgar it's like punk disney adult sure but also like this is a good thing to you i can't tell if that's like so you're like saying you're a bitchy person or i don't know like I don't understand. It almost reminds me of like the Happy Bunny thing, where yes, like or like the yes, Tweety Bird yeah, thing, oh, where people would yes. put vulgar quotes next to Tweety yes. Bird, and it was like a like I'm a bitch. Very 2010s. <laughs> yeah, like you we know? are still we're definitely still living in the fucking yes, yeah. Um, but then also the Hot Mess Express. Okay, that was kind of funny. Yeah, and then like the little skull, which again is like unrelated. Unrelated, but also like have say like the bitch dust one. I feel like says such. Uh huh. I want to meet that person. I do too. They're the I nicest person you've ever met. Yes. Or like mm -hmm. probably actually a pain rude. in the ass. Yes. Yeah. I'm very interested and in like my my curiosity was piqued. I think that was one of the first ones that I took because I was like, this little person can't be serious. Like, also too, like did so like I want to know, like, is that like a widely made I don't know. Or like there's one Etsy shop I person made know. it one time. I know, who just like hit or it. Like, big. Did they make it with their cricket machine? I don't know. But I also, truly like, don't know because it does look like a vinyl transfer. It's not like a sticker with like that's just like a circle yeah, with a yeah, graphic yeah. in the middle. It's like like a die cut. Uh, actually came. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, what? I'm so confused. What are the vibes there? I just find it very interesting. I think um, an honorable mention in this category is also the people who put stick figures of their family on the, the back of their then car. My favorite is the evolution of things eating or destroying. Yes. Oh, also, I don't know if yeah. people have seen it. You can Google it if you want. It's the cringiest most godforsaken fucking thing i've seen in my whole fucking life what but the stick figure families but it's guns oh god god it's fucking rancid that's, really that's embarrassing. embarrassing that's also like weird Ew. take and then when people are like shit on other countries and stuff for having yeah. like uh um extreme views and stuff or whatever yeah. and like yeah meanwhile we took our christmas photo with a bunch of fucking ar-15s yes. yeah like with your kids holding guns Hello? like yeah, get, like fucking the, the seek best help. way that you could think to represent your family was by turning them into guns. Yes. Okay. I fucking hate it. Or like <laughs> super weird. They'll spell Arizona out with like yeah. AR fifteen. That's weird. Ona. Yeah, there's a couple of those in here too. Like, that were... get a fucking personality. Yes. Get a fucking personality. Also, be less dangerous, maybe. God damn, I do not want to spend any like. No, it's weird. I, Speaking I of people who don't have French... a personality. Is it time? You want to talk about Lois Vine? Okay, so I didn't get to watch any of it yesterday. Yes, you were busy. I at know work. nothing. All right, let's go down the list, okay? Okay. Start at the top. AD and Clay. Yes. Make your predictions. Okay, my guess is, I want to say, oh God, you know, though, I feel like, I didn't get to know them, but I feel like they got married. Okay, so I think for all of the couples, it will be good. How should we do this? To yeah. make a prediction about what each individual person said, right? Because oh. I'm also curious, like, like guess if they got married or said oh, no, okay, okay. and then also guess who said yes and who Clay said no. Clay said yes. AD said yes. I think they both said yes. Okay. I think they both said yes, unfortunately. I was right. Okay. Uh, no. <gasps> okay. If you tell me Clay said no and AD said yes, oh no. Is that what happened? Yeah. That's embarrassing. Yeah. That's so embarrassing for her. 
so the thing oh. that's really sad People is that be she was so bad. well. So we were talking about this on stream yeah. leading up to walking down the aisle. There was a lot of rhetoric in like the bridal getting ready suite about like I'm finally getting a husband. I'm finally it's getting the, married. We're getting the we're checking the box. Yeah, please don't check the box. Don't check the box. It's you don't need to. It. But also that. AD seemed to be under the impression that they were both going to say yes. Like there wasn't a nervous oh, energy. Really? There wasn't like doubt. There was a statements made more yeah. than once by not just AD, but also her family about like, you know, you're getting married. Like once this is all over, blah, blah, blah. Like very much operating under the impression that we don't need to be <sighs> like, oh, I wonder what he's going to say. Like yeah. AD was really locked confident, in and confident secure. that they were both saying yes. No So she way. said yes. And, and then he said no. Did he give a reason why? Yes. And this is the thing that sucks is that I agree with why he said no. What did he say? Because he told her, I'm not ready to get married. I have work to do on myself. Oh, really? And I'm not ready. He said, I love you. He said, I'm still rocking with you, which I don't love, but also whatever. Um, AAVE is not really like my place to judge. Yeah. Um, and so he said, you know, I care about you and I love you, but like, it's just not, he said it wouldn't be responsible for me to say yes right now. You know what though? Like, uh, semantics aside though, like honestly, like that's, I, I stand don't up disagree of a, with like that. a stand up of a thing. Yes. The thing that that's, sucks. I hope they keep dating, I guess, or I hope. The thing that sucks though, is that she was very clear with him from the outset that if you say no at the altar, we are done. Oh, really? And I don't oh. think he took that to heart because he, Damn. in talking with her after the ceremony, first of all, was like, oh, it makes me so sad seeing you cry. It hurts me so much seeing you sad. But like you kind of did that. Also like, why are you making it about you? Yeah. Like you he, just broke her heart. Yes. And yeah. humiliated her. In front of all of your close family and friends. Who probably already had their judgments and their yes. Yes. opinions of the You, you made her getting... look like a fool in front of all of her family <sighs> and friends oh, when some of them probably already judged her for doing this in the first yeah. place. And you proved all those people right. The whole thing was really traumatizing because AD was like very obviously thrown off. And also her family was like, I mean, understandably so, very like emotionally activated oh, by the whole yeah. thing. So. They were doing a lot of like, fuck him, like, fuck that guy. And she was like, she literally said to them, like, yeah. I still love that man. I really don't want to bash him right now. I'm just confused. Uh, and they were kind of like AD feeding into always this. just being like the emotionally I mature know, one. I just know. like. But also too, like Stream made a good point that she acknowledged from the beginning that Clay was somebody who seemed like her typical pattern of like, oh. she called herself a fix a hoe um, at the beginning of the season. And did a lot of like. It's like that thing where you're like, they always find me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She like, yes. even on a show where like love is blind, like still found someone who needed. But also like along the way, she had a lot of really clear and obvious red flags that Clay was like a damaged person who wasn't ready to get married. Yeah. And she stayed the course anyways, which that's is fair. like, that's, that's fair. part of her responsibility then. Oh, fucks. It's so hard to be aware I like know. that. But then also oh, the same, like also so to sad. fall in love and like. Want the thing you've been craving so badly. Yes. Like, yeah. And I think for a lot of people, marriage becomes this symbol of like legitimacy and adulthood yeah. and maturity. Especially because the other are all the same age as us. It's so an like, achievement. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did the same fucking thing. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I think it just so happened. Like, thank, we got thank really God lucky. We worked out. Yes. Yeah. And like yeah. both were committed to being unfucking better our people. Shit. Yeah. But, but I, it doesn't always happen that way. Also, I think people, it's so easy for us too to judge and stuff like watching it. Mm -hmm. But also too, like love will make you do some fucking mm -hmm. stupid shit. Just stupid some dumb, shit. silly, yeah. bullilly fucking I stuff. <laughs> I know. It is hard to judge too yeah. because like there, I think is a very real like cultural issue. Yeah. With like wanting to be seen as like, a fully grown up yeah. adult. It's really too, hard like, for people yeah. to feel like they're not done and like you can't achieve this thing by yourself. Like it does not matter how good you are at oh, your job or how high or, achieving you are, no how much money what, you no make, what, yeah. unless you have a long term life partner who wants to yeah. be married to you that you are like not done. Damn. And you have no control over that. I'm glad they aren't together, but also that sucks too. It's always, always so messy. Yeah. Clay okay. at the end of the episode said he realized that like he made a mistake because he didn't realize that she was going to walk away. And oh. he was like, I feel like I made a mistake and I feel like an idiot and I just feel really stupid is what he said. Fuck. So, but also too, like, listen, like yeah. she was very clear with you. What if do you mean clear, you didn't then... know? Like, be that's not hard... because she was unclear. It's because you chose not to listen <sighs> that was, to her. That would be a hard wound to come back from. Yeah. Well, we talked about that too, that like, even if she did decide that they wanted to be together, yeah. how do you come back from the trust rupture of like, you presented to me that you wanted to get married and then you humiliated like, me. Pull the... You ripped the rug out from exactly. underneath me. Yes.
Like now I don't trust your ass on top of the fact that I'm hurt and embarrassed and sad. Now I don't trust you because I think you're yeah. a, a liar. I have broken like, up relationships for much less. <laughs> I can't imagine. I just that like, hurt. what is that? Yeah. Oh, it's also I'm bad. Good on her. If she, do you think they'll end up getting back together later on or people in the chat were speculating that AD is definitely like not done, but I don't know. She seemed pretty resolute to me in her like yeah. talking head exit interviews. It'd be interesting to see after some time has passed and like the dust has settled. I'm curious to see what's happening at the With reunion because the reunion is always a year after or mm, yeah it's like some amount it's of time. a good amount of time yeah yeah that'll be interesting so, that should be this week then right yeah oh when this one goes up i think um, so yeah when this goes up we'll be watching uh the reunion yeah. tomorrow okay so let's talk about some of the other couples okay list me off i'll let you list the couples and i'll give you my because um do a better job okay with. so we have i mean jeremy and laura okay jeremy and laura obviously um or should it be jeremy and sarah and <laughs> Um, <laughs> they obviously broke up before um, we made it to the altar. Yeah, so they never even walked down, right? No, like they didn't no, even do. No, we okay, never good. even did a bachelorette did party or anything. Any, oh, do they do bachelorette parties and stuff? Yes. Was there any good? Oh, Not fine, really. Uh, You'll understand what I'm talking about here in a second. Oh. Okay. Um, Kenneth and Brittany also broke up well before oh, the altar, yeah. so they were a clear Dunzo. no. Um, Chelsea and that Jimmy. leaves Chelsea and Jimmy and Johnny and Amy. Okay, Johnny and Amy, I, they're the ones, oh yeah, who did the salsa dancing and the contraceptive and stuff. Yes, yeah, with the I feel like control. they both said yes. Yeah. I feel like they both said you yes, and it was correct. probably very boring. Um, it wasn't like boring. There was actually a lot of really sweet and tender moments oh, between Amy's dad oh, okay. um, and the couple. There was something I actually like teared up on stream because oh, why? Amy's dad reminds me so much of my dad. Oh, that makes um, it hard. And yeah. there was a moment in the reception where he was talking about like, you know, he was like excited and proud of his daughter, but he was like, I also gained a son today. Oh, that's sweet. And it yeah. just reminded me so much of my parents because like they very much see you that I way, know. Yeah, you know, I and I think see, it's I really sweet. Way. Yeah. And also, too, that he was explaining to Amy that, like, I was skeptical of this process from the <laughs> yeah, beginning. Yeah, I would. But understandable. He was like, I changed my mind because we love you and Aww. because we want to support you and because we really love Johnny. And, and so, think, like, just it was nice to see a parent-child relationship yes. that seems well-adjusted for because the most part. Also, too, the reality of it is, um, yeah. and also, of course, speaking as people who are never having fucking kids, <laughs> the at least for me, the goal in having children would be... To give them all the tools and capabilities yeah, that you I can. Think so. And then, like, once they turn 18. I mean, yeah, once like, they become, like, adults. Obviously, of course, always to have that yes, that landing course. spot. And yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. fall, that, like, what's the, the second? It's like a safe place to land. Yeah. But, like, otherwise, like, their decisions are their decisions. And, like, yes. I think yeah. at that point, like, of course, you'll still mentor and, like, yeah. provide no, for sure. guidance. But, like, otherwise, I mean, like, you can only hope, I feel like, at that point that, like, yes. you trust that you gave them the tools yes. to make the decisions if they've that made are it to, safe and, yes. you know, make them happy. Yeah. If they've made it to adulthood and you are still trying to backseat drive all of their decisions, then, yeah. like, you as a parent have probably failed somewhere along or the like, line. Like, yeah. you should have given them the tools to be self-sufficient by From now. No, you shit. know, yeah, honestly. I think like it's true that kids will sometimes make bad decisions even in adulthood, yeah, right? Course. Like, welcome, yeah, literally. As, um, as, that's, <laughs> that's just being a human, as a human, but I agree with you. I think it's yeah. nice to see a parent like just trust that, like, not only have I done my job in raising my child, and so therefore it's not my place yeah. to backseat drive you, but also that like they genuinely had trust and like faith in her that like if she loves this man thinks that this is the right choice for them then like we love her we're going to support her and so therefore we support this process and I mean, like, you what know more can you and yes. also too like yeah what good is it to do to be like shitty and like burr, burr, yes. burr, burr, about it like yeah. after it's already like this is already happening yes after, like and you also i think run the risk of pushing your kid further into yeah. that decision by like you know well if you think this is bad then i'm gonna do I'm it gonna even harder you wrong. I'm yeah. gonna prove you so fucking wrong <laughs> yeah exactly yes. so that was really touching and really sweet amy and johnny's actual wedding was like pretty unremarkable yeah the only thing that Did was they a all little have them at the same place or yeah. mm, which was okay. also sad because ad and clay's wedding aired first okay um and then we saw johnny and amy's immediately after so we watched ad and clay especially a get her emotional guts yeah. just eviscerated and then they're like bah, 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 yeah, bah, they, with the happy pop music cut, cut over <laughs> and I amy can, and johnny are like you know in their little reception the fucking time oh ever. it was awful oh my it god it was so sad it's That's just kind of jarring kind of dirty. Well, and also like the ceremony space and the reception space identical oh they didn't they didn't no one got any no in past seasons there's at least like a I little like bit some, of difference some but not this one individual not this one duality no yeah mm -mm. that kind of sucks too, that was really jarring to kind of go through this experience where like it is unique yeah in its own but then like everyone kind of gets the same cookie cutter experience yeah i would be mad yeah because i feel like even I with would be mad 
No, I guess Married at First Sight too. They do just everyone get well. They have them at different places though, don't they? It's like they alternate. It's like the couples get either ceremony space A or ceremony space yeah, B, yeah, yeah, which is not much better, but at least it's slightly yeah. better. It's certainly less like uh, distressing I as the so. viewer because you're not watching like in the exact same location that somebody this had their heart broken. The, yes, <laughs> yes, a couple who's like. Mm, like so in love i feel like okay a so little weird. last then yeah chelsea and jimmy there's no fu- like okay this is the only wild card but it mm-hmm. shouldn't be a wild card but i'm like did they say yes i feel like no i feel like there's no jimmy said no okay i feel like chelsea said yes jimmy said no so you are correct Reverse? except that they didn't get to the altar jimmy and chelsea didn't make it to the altar Mm-hmm. Really? So here's what happened. Whoa. The episode opens. Did uh, and just come the, back into the picture? The previous episode. Previous episode. Previous. The previous episode, um, they ended on this cliffhanger where Jimmy and Chelsea are having a conversation over dinner. They had had this whole like little date day yeah. thing and they have dinner. Classic, yeah. Um, and so they're chit-chatting and Jimmy tells Chelsea you know, I can totally see you being my person Jimmy and I love that? you. Yes. Jimmy said all of this stuff about how I love you. You're my person. I feel very sure about this, Sorry. but I can't get a read on where you are. So where are you? And then Chelsea says, you know, I love you. And I think that this is a match and like all this stuff, whatever. Um, and I, I don't you remember exactly. All this stuff she might like, have expressed like some doubts or something. And then Jimmy is like, I don't think we should get married, though. And like breaks up with her over dinner. Wait, what? Right there? Yes. In this 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 episode that just aired? Correct. Or, so yes. that was the beginning of the so, episode. Yeah. So the last episode was them having this conversation and Jimmy saying all this nice stuff. The beginning of this week's episode was Chelsea and Jimmy breaking up at this, like in the middle of this Before. conversation. So they only had two people make it to the altar? Correct. Netflix is probably like saving some money. No wonder everybody had the same ceremony spaces. Because they were like, what's the fucking point? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. So they broke up over dinner? And also, Chelsea threw a fit, How did Chelsea which break? honestly, so, like, so kind of it, justifiably so, in so, my opinion. So Jimmy dropped all that on Chelsea. How did she react? Or how did she? Not well. Obviously. It devolved very quickly into this shit fight of, like, well, you said this. Well, you said this. And so it essentially what it boiled down to is the fact that in one of their most recent fights, Chelsea – this was the fight that – um Netflix clickbaited us all with uh, with her oh, saying, you fucked her. Yeah. Chelsea insinuated that Jimmy was doing something shady or untrustworthy with his best friend mm-hmm. because him and his friend had had a sexual relationship in the past. Okay, fair, fine. Um, I mean, not fair because like, you don't know that, but like. Well, and so this fight um, culminated in them saying like, we're going to break up basically. Okay. And then the following day, because apparently Chelsea was drunk during this fight, her and Jimmy have a conversation oh, and they reconcile. Yeah. yeah. And like, she does this weird thing where like, you know, I was wrong, but you also weren't great, but I was wrong, but oh, you also weren't oh. great. And so then it's like they acknowledged how many issues they have. Yes. Jimmy was really shaken because he was like, if you're saying that I don't love you, because Chelsea was alleging like, you must not love me if you're like uh, having, uh, doing all cheating, this. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, And he was really shaken that she said that and was like, that's enough for me. If you are in a place where you doubt whether or not I love you, I'm done. And Jimmy said that. Yeah. yeah. They somehow... At the end of this conversation, we're like, <laughs> we're so happy we're getting back they together. To the, they went to the party then together. Yes. Where everyone saw yes. the, the barbecue so or whatever. So at this dinner, when Jimmy breaks up with Chelsea, he brings up the fact that like you keep saying that Johnny and Amy are the strongest couple of the season. Why do you keep saying that? Like, do you not think we're a strong couple? Blah, blah, blah. Which like is admittedly a weird thing to say, but also like he was really hung up on it. We were really caught up. Yeah. On her saying that. Um, and then he was really caught up on the fight that they had where he said, you know, you said you doubted whether you loved me, blah, yeah. blah, blah, all of this stuff. Um, and she's like, well, you're texting your your ex all the time. You're texting your friend all the time. Like, blah, blah, blah all this yeah. stuff. Like, you're texting her all day, every day. And like, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, you're best friends with your ex-husband. Like, how are you going to come at me when you're best friends with your ex-husband? Yeah, Which honestly, is, like, I'm not Jimmy's fan. No, but that's a really that's good a point. That's a great fucking point. Honestly, yeah, like... I was about to say, like, that's that, yes. would, that would do it for me right there. You're like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, never mind. I'll shut my fucking mouth. Literally. Like, I won't bring that up again. Especially because, like, that's, that's an obvious, point. like, hypocritical issue. Oh, also, like, to another, to, like, a higher degree. Yes. Honestly. Like, you were married to that yeah. man. He had a one-time thing with not... this friend. Yes. That he also, like, 
I think, like, again, I'm not Jamie's biggest fan. I think he's made lots of problematic decisions. Of course, of course. And also, in this situation, I think he was really doing his best to do the right thing because he did disclose this sexual relationship with Chelsea, um, or, or to Chelsea, off camera. He said it was because he wanted to protect his friend. Oh, totally. Um, from, like, public scrutiny and, like, you know, if she's in a relationship in the yeah. future, she doesn't want... Uh, to get this, dragged into all yeah. of this and whatever. And I think Chelsea accused him of like trying to protect his reputation and whatever. I think yeah. there's probably an aspect of that also. But he did do the right thing. Like he was honest with her and he did it in a way that tried to like honor the boundaries of everybody involved. I feel like that's really the best you can do to like what more. I don't know how much better like, that could I'm be. I'm not friends with this person. Like just not, which also he did offer it that. Yeah. Time. Well, and also too, like. Well, to be well, fair, he said, but then he said no. Yeah, yes. <laughs> which like honestly, good. Um, that, that's not a good reason to. But like... I, I think if Chelsea is insecure about him being friends with somebody that he's had a sexual yeah. history with, then like that's a you thing, right? And it's not yeah. that you're not allowed to feel insecure, but you should say that, right? And like. I'm insecure, not because you're doing something wrong, but because I have a trauma history in relationships. Yeah. And, and so we can then have a really that. productive conversation about like, how can I be here for mm -hmm. you? How can I show up for you? But she weaponized her insecurity to try to boss him around a lot. And it's really off-putting yeah. and also frustrating to see her act like that's a totally okay thing to do because it's not. Because now you that know? you say it, yeah, I guess she really, because she really was doing that. Yeah. Well, I guess she was. Yeah. And I think it's hard too because like you want to point out what she's doing, but then also too, like I know you guys talked a little bit about the subreddit and stuff. Yes. Um, uh, and how fucking I know. awful that place Rancid. is. But then it's like when you see, it's like the, that's what we talk about like with the doubling back or whatever. Yes. It's like, well, now I'm going to defend Chelsea even harder now because there's that one, yes. that one drawing someone yes, did. Yes, the cartoon we talked about on Disgusting. stream. Disgusting. Um, weird but Weirdo like behavior also um that's the same the back to the bumper stickers thing where you're like you took time yes, out of your day so, like, so either did you like because like someone didn't make this, this was not a template this is mm -hmm. not a meme template that you made really mm -hmm. fast like mm -hmm. you took time out of your day like that's fan behavior shit but like then it's like no now i'm gonna defend chelsea even harder when like in reality you're right she was doing yeah. a lot like they both yes. they just like yes like but fire also and too, fire like this shit fight at the dinner table also devolved into chelsea saying you know you told me you called me clingy and you told me that you didn't want to have sex with me and that you needed to take steps back from having yeah. sex with me because I was pressuring you into it and he goes when did I say that I never said that hello it was on camera <laughs> I know someone was talking about like you just kind of get used to the about? cameras being there sure. and not being there and so I'm like I like honestly that probably really is but, but like, like how do you forget the, you but also like it, that feels like blatant gaslighting mm -hmm. at that point like you are so very much trying to like no, 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 no. I never yeah. said that. You don't have a leg to stand on. And like, no, she does though. Like you, he did say that. Yeah. It just, the whole thing turned into, we're yelling at each other and then Chelsea storming off. And that yeah. was the end of it. It sounds Literally, like slinging shit for the sake of. Yes. We go from that conversation where they're breaking up with each other and yelling <laughs> yeah. to the bachelorette party where it's, it's just Amy and AD. They're and probably like, and they're just like I just imagine in their little crickets. dresses being so cute and happy. And it was really sweet. Like it was yeah. nice to see them connecting, but it was like again, very distressing. It feels like As fucking it viewers. really feels like Survivor some seasons. Yes. Like this is like when the last two people yes. are left on the island and they're just kind of vibing before they go do the final challenges and shit or whatever. And like they're eating their picnic. Yes. And it, meanwhile, everybody else is like fucking, fucking yeah, got their shit kicked God. in. Oh. It's so weird. So weird. <sighs> So who did we, how many did we predict at the beginning? I don't even remember. Do you remember? I don't remember. Stream? We'll have to go back and look. Oh, I but think it's just. I think it's safe to say that this season has been probably the worst one yet. And also like kind of a wash. I like, it's like, I just don't understand because I know it's just Nick and Vanessa. Yeah. Like I'm sure they want the cut. Like if, if, also if they're taking any credit for anything on the show, weird, <laughs> weird fucking, fucking take. Hope not. Um, That'd be me, like you doing a main channel video and being like, "Hey, guy, like, hey, I did a great job on this I one, know. didn't I, guys?" Are like, you so proud of me yeah. for making Mickey be good? Literally, <laughs> like what? Um, but it's like they don't want. I know. I like I, it's just like at every corner they're like, "How can we make these people break up?" Yes. Or, but also too, I'm like, "Are they trying? Are they like creating ways for them to like trauma bond almost?" I think so. Or like, are they hoping like that'll solidify relationships? I, yeah, that seems intentional. Like who? Like what is the? Because it just seems like every time, like, there's just a fucking, there's yeah. the, the couple people at the end and then just a fucking trail yes. of blood, guts, and fucking broken yes. dreams. Literally. Like, <laughs> blood, guts, and broken, broken, broken dreams. Broken dreams. Broken dreams. Um, broken dreams. That would be a sick-ass band name. 
Blood, guts, and broken dreams. That's yeah. pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Called That's it. pretty fucking punk. Called it. You can't take can't it. Can't take it. <laughs> yeah, don't come fucking tra- um, trademark us. I know. But no, the whole season ultimately ended with like Amy and Johnny being really happy. And that's very nice, right? Yeah. Like I hope that they're happy of and that's course, great. Of course. But like So Amy and Johnny are the only ones. Yes. Yes. Great ratio and, again. And only two couples made it to the altar this season. I feel like it's been more than that in the past. But I think this is also like an it's like interesting. Keep, it's like the show somehow is getting worse at doing the thing they're supposed to be no, doing. No, it definitely is. Um, the thing that I find most interesting about it, though, is that like as Love is Blind uh, it gains more popularity and becomes and like, like a phenomenon, yeah. it seems like the show is less and less successful. I think how could it not? Because also, I don't know, too, because I don't even really think this season like people were really chasing clout per se. Like, I wouldn't say... I think Jessica probably was. I yeah. think Chelsea and Jimmy might have been a little bit... You think Jimmy and Chelsea really? I don't know. They, they don't strike kind of... me the type... Like, Jimmy That's doesn't fair. strike me as the type. That's A fair. lot Maybe more of the people Jimmy. this season just seemed like, we're tired of Tinder. Yeah. Kind of tired of, like, regular dating with, but like, I, something a little bit more higher odds. I do feel like there's an aspect... Maybe not, like, clout chasing in the sense of, like, I want my Instagram to blow up after yeah. this. But, like, wanting to be, like, Cameron and Lauren. Oh. I, it seems like there's such a a legacy this, of like wanting to be the wholesome and cute love is blind couple. I like I guess I get it. I, I think guess. people are chasing like the adoration. And so also to like that, also, Cameron that's and why Lauren said, would have worked outside of the experiment. Yes. But anyway, that's why like, I said Chelsea and Jimmy kind of come across that way because they would continually get back together even though they both seem to know that this was not a good We're fit. like happy family family Yes. It, it, it kind of reminded me of Amber and Barnett from season one oh, a little. God. Where like y'all don't seem to like each other that much. Y'all seem to have like some real problems, but you're just like committed to the bit because you yeah. want to be like one of the successful couples. Yes. Like I don't want to do this and like have to deal with the fact that I failed or like. Yeah. It's yeah. Much like I will. We're will, doubling I will win. down. I will win at yes. all. Yes. It does seem like a wanting to win yeah. thing. Which we talked about this on stream too. I think. You know, no one's surprised by this take, but I'm going to continue to say it. say it. I think at the end of the show, it would be like the show is a, a phenomenon would be so much more successful and less traumatizing yeah. if it was structured by like, we're going to get engaged at the end of this I, or we're going to move in together or yeah. like choose to date outside of the pods or whatever or outside of the experiment. I wish you know? had enough money to make a Netflix if you're hearing this um Netflix if you're would watching this never work with us after <laughs> I want to produce oh, I want to be like the producers <laughs> We I watched wanna, the producers I know, for the, first having, time the other day having springtime for Hitler stuck in your head not is good. not good <laughs> not but good. it was so good and it's gay a, and yes, fantastic It's such a weird like little also, Matthew moment Broderick, in time I know Rod- Roderick Broderick yeah. Broderick his character, the first like five minutes of that movie, I like, I almost honestly, I was like, I'm not going to make it through this movie because his, the <laughs> mannerisms and his acting were so like early 2000s. Yeah. I would love to see what the original, how that actor mm-hmm. was too. But Me I was too. like, it kind of becomes endearing towards the end. Yeah. But also too, I thought they were going to paint him as like this mastermind the whole time actually oh, who got one over. How funny. On, yeah. Uh, Beelzebub. No. Fuck Bialystok. It. Bialystok. Yeah. Yeah. Um, got one over on him, but um, <laughs> absolutely not. Nathan Lane is a gem. I know. So I wish. I'm so glad we're going back and watching. I more love of his Nathan movies. Lane. Me too. I don't think you could put him in anything, and I would not enjoy it. Agreed. Yeah. Um, I didn't mean to sidetrack us. Oh from, no, you're fine. I think. Um, yeah. What other? What are your final thoughts on this? Will be the last. Love I, is blind. I really think that the show is just going to continue to get worse, and it kind of raises the question of like, at what point are we done talking about it? You know. Never. Because it just seems to be getting more and more traumatizing. I'm also really curious. I'm like putting. I can't wait for the Phoenix. Season. I'm putting a prediction out now that first of all, there's going to be some iteration of a queer love is blind in the next like five years. I guarantee that. Five years. That's a long time. I, okay, would three we, years. Would we count, what was that? Didn't they do? No, the that was um, VH1. They did the queer ultimatum. That's what it was. That's what but I'm thinking. But Love is Blind presents some particular challenges because it's not truly blind if you can ascertain what somebody's gender is. Yeah. Because you can usually tell by somebody's voice. Yeah. You know? So there's mm. some... And also, too, like, how do we adjust the living situation then? And also, then, is Netflix going to be inclusive of trans people? And if that's the case, how because do we ensure... Fit in, fit well, in. well, but how do we ensure that we're not tokenizing yeah. or stigmatizing yeah. or subjecting trans people to danger right like though. if we do a season of love is blind in a southern state and we're being inclusive of trans folks how do we make sure that we're not subjecting this person to being hate crimed 
I I feel like they that's they, very I don't very think they tricky. want the heat. I don't think they. But I, I think, think they, they want to capitalize on the publicity of it, though. Yeah. I mean, they did the queer ultimatum. I think we're going to see some iteration of like queer love is blind, even if it yeah. isn't with trans people. I could see them being exclusionary They'll assholes be like, oh, on you're, purpose. Uh, in the boys, they have a whole scene where they make fun of how the media handles no, oh, like no. no, like lesbian relationships and stuff. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Oh well, you have to dress like this because. The population oh, is a lot more accepting yes. of queer couples when yep. there's a clear mask oh, and a clear God. femme. And they're like, yeah. they're, and she, they're one of the characters is like, I don't want to dress like that. And, and they're, they're like, like, too bad. Well, you're gonna. Yeah. Um, yeah, I and think like it's very bad much, energy. I could see it very much being like that. Like, you wear yeah. flannel and jeans. You are the dude yes. queer. But also, too, then, like, we're just not casting anybody no. who exists in the shades of gray. No. We are only casting people yes. who fit into this like preconceived bubble, notion. Bubble, bubble pop, bubble pop, bubble gum pop femme. <laughs> And fucking yes. lumberjack. Yes, exactly. Uh, um, yeah. But I think it, there's going to be some iteration of that, especially because Netflix has done the circle um, where like oh, you're completely isolated. I yeah. could see it being like that where everybody gets their own independent God, living so situation. Um, but also I'm putting in a formal prediction now that we in oh, the next I'm like it on a, marking it on the two board. seasons, three seasons, there's going to be a season where everybody says no. We're trending towards that, and I think it's uh, only a matter of time. Or... Yeah. Where no couples get married. And I can't tell, too. We've it's already like... had a season where nobody is together anymore. Everybody from season two is divorced. Damn. Yeah. I don't remember a single person. It feels like it's starting to feel like American Idol. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like they should let us vote in on who gets to date at this <laughs> oh my point. God. Can hey, you also, imagine? Good, that's, that's a good so idea. Fucked up. No. <laughs> no, not in a good way, but like that could be a, like, can you people, imagine? People would be so hateful, though. So, where's my needle been this oh, whole time? Right there. Also, we learned to not all needos are made the same. Yeah. This is a good needo. Yeah. The needo I have at home, I don't a know what happened. Weird. It has bubbles in it. Also, one of our Discord members, I don't know if they want me to name them or not. So I won't. One of our Discord members. Um, informed us that you can get a needo for $4.99 from uh, barnesandnoble.com. Yeah. So I have not if verified you, it, but. Yeah, we haven't verified if they're real or not yet because they're still shipping. Um, but if you've seen the ones in our Amazon storefront, because they're yeah. like $15. Um, and if you don't want to spend that money. Um, and you want to get one from Barnes and Noble, they're much cheaper. So that might be a better resource. Say, oh, granted, you have to pay for shipping. So a bit of maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but still, you get free shipping if you spend $35. So you could just get a bunch of them, which <laughs> so is you what want somebody the $5 did. $5 thing, but then you, oh, but if you bought a bunch of them. Yeah. Like if you yeah. and your friends just like, just Venmo me $5 and like all six of us will get oh. a Nito. You know? Um, I was also thinking too, I was like, I wonder how ball pit full of needles would be. And then I was like, oh, that'd be awful because they're kind of firm. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and also awful. they get stuck oh, on this your would hurt. skin. Can you imagine? You Ooh, a, it would rip all the hair oh, out of like your... Oh, like Brazilian, but like your whole body. You'd come Ow. out looking like a hairless cat. Yeah, no. I don't like it. I don't want it. Um, Any other predictions you'd like to add to the, the registry? The, I don't uh, think so. The I think notebook? Those are, my, those are my two predictions, which is that Love is okay. Blind is going to try to capitalize on subjecting queer people yeah. to their trauma. And also that there is going to be a season where everyone says They're going to no. have to do something now. They're about to lose the queer eye at yeah, this rate. I know. That's like a whole thing yeah. in and of itself. I do feel very validated that people are being critical of JVN, though, because I've got a weird vibe about them a while ago. I think, you know... It's very interesting how all of that is like crumbling. Yeah. The empire there is really I, I think it's just not so what hard it seems. To, I feel like it's hard when people are just so outwardly. I, I say this for like people on TV generally, I think. Yeah. I'm always just like a little suspicious. Like I think just always, I think yes. the rule of thumb is just always be a little suspicious. Yes. Unless you learn otherwise. And also too, that like anybody who presents you this version of themselves, that they are perfectly self-actualized and so kind and also, so bubbly yeah. and so nice and so like all of the things is not that way not because they're like a liar or they're intentionally no. misrepresenting themselves necessarily but because people are just people also, right too, like it's tv like why yes. would they put the bat like it's supposed to be yes. uplifting exactly like feel good kind yeah. of show. like they're not going to put v yes. bad vibes in there like no exactly that would wreck the brand you know yeah which is yeah. Like what's happening anyways I no guess, literally so. which is a little sad but yeah you know, it is what it is do you have any predictions uh, for Love is Blind? Yeah. No, I'm just kind of here for the ride. Like, I'm really... Honestly, fair. I think as long as people keep... a lot. As long as people keep, like... I know they go through a lot of shit and it's really fucked up. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's like with reality... It's reality. Like, no one's being forced to be on there. And I do feel bad once you're in contract and stuff. But, I mean, like... I think there's definitely some exploiting that Netflix is doing, though. I will say... Oh, you know what, though? Actually, as I'm saying that and I'm thinking... And I want to retract that a little bit. Because also, too, <laughs> haven't we learned... That they're really shady in their contractual yes. 
agreements. That's the allegations. We oh, like you and I can't. Yeah. Allegedly. Um, there's been a lot of allegations about the conditions that yeah. contestants are subjected to and also the difficulty for contestants to to leave. Totally. And I think, too, like the safety stuff is so bad. But also, I think at least for me, that's yeah. just my own opinion. Um, I mean, they always are, obviously. No, yeah, of course. Um, but I mean, like the show's been around. This is like season, what, six? Mm hmm. I mean, it's like there's just no way you can not be aware tertiarily to some degree like what. Amy said this season that she applied for the show and didn't know what it was and had to watch a few episodes because the producers were, were like, you should probably watch a few episodes before you like agree to Amy do this. Amy had never. Apparently, which also I think is an interesting that they trivia point because they were the only successful couple and they seem to be the ones who were that least is aware. Such, that is such a great like by not I'm being aware you. of what Love Is Blind is, you know, honestly, that's and I the do theory about why Cam and Lauren were so successful too, because the show had never been filmed before. Yeah, but then Nobody also, knew. could you say that about all the? Well, no, because Damien and well, well really yeah, Damien, that, they they had good separate God issues. Damn, they would never have been compatible in or out of the box. Uh, yeah, that's such a good point. Yeah, I think it's just like this hard gray area that there's not really like a good because obviously like reality TV is ultimately cheap and easy to film mm -hmm. and but like at the cost of being problematic yes. at the cost of using and, like, people it's because they're exploiting people but also too like people are signing up for it so like if someone didn't know about it like that's mm -hmm. also I'd be I'd be curious if as a recruiter for the show if that would be like plus points that you didn't know yeah you know like probably. oh they don't know what they're getting themselves into let's get them I would hook, line, and so. sinker yeah yeah yeah. Damn. It's it's all bad and I don't It is kind of all bad. I don't love it. But you know, we're gonna keep talking about keep it for talking the foreseeable about it. future, yeah. I guess. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Yeah. Thanks for watching all the Love thanks, is Blind season. Thanks for chit chatting with us about yeah. my bumper sticker. Oh, uh, that was so much fun. I can't wait. Also. I know you have more. I know you have more. I do. I'll show you them after we finish filming. <laughs> I love that. Um, if you guys want to support the show, if you guys like it, then you can obviously like the video and subscribe and do all those things. You can also leave us five star reviews on whatever platform you're yes, listening please. on. And we'll be back on Thursday next week. Next week. So yeah, I'll see you guys for a stream tomorrow. tomorrow and oh, then I'll the see you guys oh, for yeah. the main channel video on Saturday. I wonder how it's going to go. I'm very curious. Oh my God. We'll see. I, hopefully I get to watch so, some of it this time. Yeah. Okay. That'll cool. be fun. All right. All right. Uh, we love you the most and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.